Hey guys, welcome to the Man Cave. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. I just wanted to bring you guys some footage from this last poll at the new 22. Um, as you guys already knew, there, there was a buck out there I was naming Bertier. Uh, he's all over. I mean, he's just taking ownership of that bedding area that I went in and did all that work that you guys saw in the spring. And he is just mowing the clover. We have footage of him just eating and eating and eating and eating. And then all these other bucks start showing up too. So I'm going to throw up some footage of a lot of these bucks. It's pretty encouraging. I don't know if I would shoot all of these. Uh, Bertier, I will. The only other buck that I might is the really wide eight, the bigger eight, the older bodied eight. Um, not 100% sure or not. I have to get a better look of them. But, uh, but yeah, it's very encouraging. There's just a lot of bucks everywhere. And you'll notice there's actually one picture of a buck that looks like he has a double beam. Um, so it'll be encouraging. We didn't get many pictures of him, but hopefully we uh, see some more, but enjoy. Hey guys, so that's just a tidbit really. I didn't want to bore you guys with minutes and minutes and minutes of footage, but I figured those were some of the better ones and it showed a lot of the different bucks. There was probably two or three other yearlings that I didn't really add into the mix. But as you can tell, you know, as far as two and a half year olds go, I am setting very pretty for the future. Um, a couple of those bucks are really nice, really nice potential. Um, Bertier just never ceases to amaze me. Every time I look at him, his rack shows me something different. He's got kickers and stickers and just, just craziness going on, really. And I uh, can't wait to see him hard horned and uh, just really get a picture of uh, the buck that I'm chasing out there. Right now, he's the number one out there. I do know there's a couple other bucks out there that were there last year, like Big Dave, where if he's alive and he's around and he pops in, he will by far be the number one. But he hasn't yet. But anyways, that is a testament, guys. All the footage that we're having and all those bucks obviously are betting very close. They're betting on the property. If not, they're betting immediately adjacent to the new 22. And I understand if I could have more land, I would. 
but this is just a growing testament to the fact that a small place you can do things that are going to enhance can you hold deer all the time absolutely not not unless you've got hundreds and hundreds thousands of acres um a deer's range is just too broad and too big and they're too unpredictable they're wild you know it's it's mother nature you can't control it um we can do things that are going to help though like when i went in and i cut i don't even know how many tanks of gas i cut inside that bedding area that you were seeing up back up and in there it turns into just a, a lot of it's a honeysuckle bush um thicket really in there and i had to make it usable you could not walk in there and the deer couldn't walk in there and uh, I just knew I had to get arteries in there opened up and I did it before spring green up and they have really taken ownership of that place. I mean, it is amazing how they've just transformed the use of that place and just a little elbow grease did that, you know. I'm, I'm lucky in the fact that I inherited, you know, this property had some fallow fields that had a lot of that secessional growth that is pivotal and if you don't have that get started plant bushes plant trees that are going to provide that type of cover quick miscanthus giganus you know get things started that are going to create a thicket or a fallow field type effect like that and you can then begin to sculpt out of it and in it but um it's become i've become a big believer of clover chicory as well this year they are keeping it mowed down as you can see most of those videos their head were, heads were down and they were feeding um but I just wanted to share a little bit of the footage that we got just kind of encourage you guys out there that have a small property and you're trying to enhance it and do as much as you can. You got to compartmentalize and you got to just take tasks as you could. You know, this late winter, early spring, one of the biggest things I wanted to accomplish was make the bedding area viable and usable. Enhance it. Didn't want them to bed anywhere else. I wanted them to bed where they wanted to. They just couldn't use it to its full, fullest potential. There were areas in there that were just desolate. A deer desert if you will because they couldn't get into them I literally had to crawl army style if I wanted to get into those things because of all the lower hanging brush so I had to cut all those and haul them out um, look back on YouTube there's a video post actually I think there's two of them where I even tour you in there before spring green up and you can kind of see where we're at and then you can see how everything when it greened up a lot of the weeds and brush and ragweed and all kinds of different stuff uh, exploded in there and our power just surged. So I probably just lost everything that I was working on, but uh, this is Ty, God bless, and good luck out there.